So we are on to the second video in the basic knots for whips video series. Today we are gonna tie the seven part six by two pass knot. If you watched the previous video on the five by four three pass knot, this knot will be quite similar, but with a few differences, of course. Now in this six byte knot, you go around the knot six times to create the base knot and then follow that around another time to make it a two pass. So we're gonna get this show on the road right away. We start at the base once again. We go around the back up to the top. Now one thing to keep in mind, let's cross over the standing end down here, is as you come around for your second pass, that pass will come to the right of this one further up the knot. So take that into consideration when tying your base knot that you will do another pass to the right of this one. So if you have a bit of the knot foundation showing and similar that doesn't really matter because the second pass will cover that. So we have gone around the knot once we are crossing over the standing end, coming up alongside our first pass. Now the gap you leave in between these two strands should be about the width of one strand, because one strand is coming up to cover all of this. We go over at the top. And now the same rules apply as when we made our previous knot. We are gonna do the opposite of the strand that's to the right. In this case it's this one. So we make our way down again. And the strand to the right goes over the standing end, so we're gonna go under it. And we're gonna cross over the strand at the bottom. Now making our way up we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the opposite of the strand that's to the right. So the, this strand goes over this one, so we're gonna go under it. Crossing over that one at the top. Making our way back down, we're, do the, we're doing the opposite of the strand that's to the right. So we're gonna go over that one, because this one goes under. And then we are gonna go under this one. Like so, always leaving a gap that's roughly the width of one strand. We are crossing over the strand at the bottom. We are gonna go over this one, because this one goes under. We are gonna go under this one. Like 
so. Crossing over the strand at the top. Making our way down, we are gonna go under this one because, you know, because the one to the right goes over. We are coming over this one, because the strand on the right is going under it, and we're gonna go under this one. over the strand at the bottom again we're coming up right here so we are going under we're going over the next one and then under this one Once again, crossing over this strand at the top. <coughs> Making our way back down, we are going over this one, because the strand on the right is going under. We're gonna go under that one. We're going over this one and under that one. Once again, crossing over the strand at the bottom right here. We are going to do our final pass for the base knot. Uh, we are going to go over this one because the strand on the right is going under. Now as you can see these two strands are doing the same thing. They both go over this strand and under that one and so on. But we're going to come up in between and do the opposite. But like we've done before just keep an eye on the strand that's to the right and you'll be fine. So we're going over that one and under this one. Crossing over the strand that's on the top. We're going to come under this one because the strand on the right is going over. Mm -hmm. 
we are gonna go over this one and under that one if I can, of course I can Then we're going to go over this one, under that one, and over the strand at the bottom again. There we are. That's our six byte. One, two, three, four five and six seven part base not done now if you're looking to do a pineapple interweave now is the time where you would start working your pineapple interweave but this particular knot is going to be a two pass so if you want to tie the pineapple knot head on over to the next video where i'll show you the pineapple interweave but for this two pass knot, as you can probably tell right now, the spacing in between the strands is a bit uneven. So I'm just gonna move things around slightly and I'll be back with you in a bit. Like so, now, now I've adjusted uh, the strands a bit just to make the gaps a bit more even. It's not perfect, but we'll adjust it even more once we've made the final pass of the knot and we are gonna do a bit of fid work and tighten the knot and like i said if you want to do the pineapple knot this is the moment you've been waiting for now you should head on over to the next video on the pineapple interweave but if you want to learn how to tie this two pass knot just stick around and just like with our five by four three pass knot all you really have to do right now is come up alongside your standing end and just follow that one around we are gonna come up alongside it right here like so this one goes over so we're gonna go over this one it goes under this one so we're gonna go under that It goes over this one and we go over this one. It goes under that one. We're gonna go under that one. Goes under this one. And so on. I don't think you have to watch me do this, so I'm just gonna fast forward this part. Like I said, just follow it around. And there we are. We've successfully followed our standing end all the way around to make it a two pass knot. Yeah, like you can see right now, it's still a bit rough, but we're gonna clean that up as we tighten the knot, which is the next thing on the to-do list. And once again, just watching me tighten the knot and adjusting things will be very boring so I'm gonna spare you on that but what I do is like I said before I like to start at the beginning and I tighten that and then I just 
move along. Inserting my fid into the knot like this, tighten, move along, tighten some more, all the way around. I try to adjust tiny areas where you know the strands has folded over a bit where it doesn't quite fit and just tweak the knots to have it look a bit more clean. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and then we're gonna check back in to finish the knot up. And there we are, the knot is tightened. Now we're gonna finish up the knot by heading up right here like you would if you were gonna do a three pass knot. And see if we can get the needle through there. It's quite tight at the moment, which is a good thing. Like so. And we're gonna snip the ends. Right there. And one final pull on the standing end. And right there. There we have it. Now we're gonna roll it. For that, we're gonna use our trusty piece of marble. There we go. A lot of pressure down here. Like so. That's the perimeter of the knot rolled. We're gonna add a bit of conditioner. Like so. We're gonna find our spoon. There you are. Same thing again. Put that on top. Use a fair bit of force and move the spoon around to mold the top. Like so, we are gonna do the bottom portion of the knot as well. Like that. Might have been a bit too much, but we're just gonna smear the excess on the handle. And there we are. That's our seven part six byte two pass knot. Now next up on this whip I'm gonna tie the transition knot. I'll probably make that a uh, four byte, five part, two pass knot to keep a sort of classic look to it. Nothing really overly fancy, but we're keeping this one classical straight up rock and roll. Thank you for this time. Next up is the pineapple interweave. See you later. Bye.